this is probably the most exciting product of 2023, at least in the handheld gaming console market. This is the Asus ROG Ally and here's our quick hands-on with this gaming console that also runs on Windows 11. First up, specifications. This sexy beast runs on AMD's new Ryzen Z1 series chips and this particular model comes with a Z1 Extreme model which is the higher end offering. Aside from that, it also has a 7-inch 1080p display with a 120Hz refresh rate, 512GB of SSD storage, and 16GB of RAM. Decent amount of storage for a handheld gaming console, I suppose. Weighing only 608 gram, it's also lightweight enough for a comfortable gaming experience. I mean, it's still relatively hefty, but for longer gaming sessions and with the console resting on the table, for example, I can game quite comfortably in this position for quite some time. But just how much is the ROG Ally? Well, you'll be surprised to know that this pretty dumb powerful handheld gaming console starts at only 599 US dollar. That is of course for the base Z1 model, for the Z1 Extreme that we have here, this one goes for 699 US dollar. Still very, very competitive price tag, especially in comparison to its main competitor, the Steam Deck. So just how powerful is the ROG Ally? Well, first of all, it is important to keep in mind that this is still a handheld gaming console, so it won't be running AAA games in excess of 60fps at maxed out graphics settings. That being said, it can still run these AAA games reasonably well with the right graphics settings. I've tested both Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak as well as Street Fighter VI on the ROG Ally and these two games still look very good on this machine while still offering reasonably high frame rates. All in all, this is definitely a great machine to run these games on the go. Next, we have the display quality of the ROG Ally. As mentioned, this is a 7-inch 1080p display with a 120Hz refresh rate. This is also just an IPS LCD display and it is not OLED, so you don't get that vibrant, punchy colors with excellent black levels and white viewing angles. With that in mind, yes, the viewing angles of the IPS display aren't quite as good as I would have hoped. But at this price point, with a machine this powerful and this portable, I don't see that as a big negative at all. Last but not least is the build quality of the ROG Ally, which is not cheap, but not particularly premium either. The thing is, the ROG Ally is made entirely out of plastic except for the glass cover for the screen. It feels decent, but it doesn't feel premium. I understand that the use of a plastic chassis is to bring down the weight of the ROG Ally, which is understandable, but at the same time, you can make plastic feel good. And in the case of the Ally, it's decent. A 6 out of 10, I would say. So it's just ever so slightly above average. But I am happy to say that the buttons feel great. The joystick feels very nice to use. The buttons has a nice tactile click. And even the back buttons here, sound and feel good to click on. As far as first impressions go, I am definitely impressed with the ASUS ROG Ally. Compared to its main competition, the Steam Deck, this is a much better option for one reason. It is officially available here in Malaysia. The Steam Deck on the other hand is brought in by parallel importers, so there is no official warranty support compared to getting this from ASUS. Plus, the value proposition of this handheld gaming machine is much better than the Steam Deck, especially in regards to overall performance, screen quality, and just the looks of it, which in my opinion is much better than the bulkier and bigger Steam Deck. Nonetheless, we'll still have to wait until Q3 2023 for the ROG Ally to be launched here in Malaysia. We'll find out then just how much this will be priced at. If it's around the $699 US dollar price tag, this is certainly a handheld gaming console to look out for. As always, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to watch channel if you haven't already, and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel and at shift.com.